What's up everybody? It's Brandon Campbell here with Campbell Fitness. Oh wait, no it's not. It's Jordan Crowley. Um, today's video is actually going to be about a topic which affects many people or can be related to many people or is an issue for a lot of people, um, including myself at, at, at one point. Um, it's just pretty much how to fit it all in. And what I mean by that specifically is how to fit in gym, school, work, girls or guys, food, social life. Is it possible? I don't think so. Nah, it's just not. Just give up. Oh, of course don't give up. It's totally possible. It's totally feasible. And it's actually quite simple if you just um, know how to go about it correctly. So first things first. Prioritize. Make a list. Make a list of all the things you have to do. Like, okay, gym, work, school, homework, girlfriend. Okay. Now prioritize. Which one is, in reality, to you, which is the most important? For some people, that's, that'll be different than others. For some people, it'll be gym, food, school, homework, girlfriend. <laughs> some people, it'll be girlfriend, school, gym, homework, you know? But prioritize to your specific you know, needs. Just what you want. Prioritize to like what you want. So with that being said, after that, just plan. Start planning out your day. Start planning out your activities. So for me personally, let's say, good little tip is, you know what, on Friday night, I know that I'm gonna try to go out, and be social, have fun, but let's say I also have school. So, I'm gonna look through my day, look at my schedule, do I have classes from here to here? I'm also working out this day. Maybe I have to wake up a little bit early. Okay, Friday, can't sleep in. I gotta wake up, go to the gym, go to school, and then have fun at night. You know, instead of just saying, oh, I'm too tired, can't get up, I'm just gonna go to school. And then instead of going out and being social, I'm gonna hit my workout that I could have done this morning. <laughs> Prioritize, make a schedule, move some things around, Make it happen. It's really simple. I was actually talking to a guy the other day, and we were just talking about fitness in general, and he was just like, yeah, I just, you know, can't get into it. You know, I just have too much stuff, blah, 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 blah. And I was just looking at him like, he continued to go on about his day. You know, he goes to work, you know, and he's like, yeah, and I just pick around all day because he works at the restaurant. I just eat a little something here, a little something here. I'm just nibbling all day. You know, I don't eat that much because I don't have much of an appetite. I eat fruits and veggies. Yo. 45 minutes, 60 minutes out of your day. Instead of going to the bar, drinking at night, take 45 minutes away from your bar time and go to the damn gym. That's just one situation. Lots of times, you know, there'll be people in a relationship, like myself, I was in a relationship for a long, long, long time. And um, while I was pursuing my bodybuilding, I guess, career or lifestyle choice, whatever you guys want to call it, and it really is just about moderation and um, trying to keep into account the other person's feelings. You know, if you have, if you're in a relationship, you have a significant other, you know, they're a big part of your life. And uh, you can't just kind of, you know, put them on the back burner, you know, to go get swole. Maybe introduce them to the gym, bring them to the gym with you. If they're not into that, that's okay. Don't force them to be like, yo, what the fuck? Sorry, part of my language. In reality though, try to like, you know, have interests together. If you're really, really, really into the gym, and she's really, 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 really not, you gotta think about it, is it gonna work? Of course it's gonna work. If you guys actually enjoy each other's company for other things than the gym. Seriously guys, that's the main, main problem. Guys, women, when I say guys, I mean it to everyone. But that's the main problem. We really do prioritize the gym a little bit too much. You know, life really isn't about lifting. I love the gym. I do prioritize the gym, but I don't let it run my life. If I want to go to a concert, if I want to go out with some friends, you know, and I know I'll be up till 2 in the morning, and the only time I have to lift is in, is the next morning, you know, sometimes I'll be like, you know what, I don't have to go to the gym tomorrow. I'm going to rage my face off, and then use tomorrow as my rest day, and then start up my, my split again. You know, it's really about moderation, guys. Life is just about enjoyment, and the gym should add to that. It shouldn't take away from it. Once again, guys. Prioritize your activities. Make a list of what you love, what you enjoy, and, and make time to fit it all in. It really is possible. Don't tell me you can't go to the gym in the morning, go take some classes, eat dinner with your girl, 
or your guy, and then, you know, do some homework afterwards. Yeah, your day might be busier. You might feel like, you know what, I have a lot on my plate. But guess what? It's life! It's not always easy. You know what? So just make it enjoyable. Fit it all in. It's like I said it before, moderation. Just wanted to uh, really emphasize the importance of just having a well-balanced, rounded lifestyle with you, where you can fit everything in. And I'm a perfect example. I love to go out with my friends. I love to have a good time. I love to get a little wild and reckless. But I also love the gym, and I'm all about that healthy lifestyle. So, you know what? I think it's working. Make time, prioritize, plan ahead, and you can enjoy all the multifacets in this world. Jordan Cronin out.